James here. Um, the song I'm playing is Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol, an absolute epic of a song. Um, and I'm about to teach you how to play it. Now, uh, the version that I've got here is, is my adapted version, which is perfect for um, beginner students. So that's people who have literally just bought the guitar, it's out of the box, they've tuned the guitar up, and they're ready to play something without really hurting their fingers or building up all, all the muscles you need in your fingers to play the original version. Now the original version, you know, it's not, it's not really difficult, but uh, it does involve holding down two strings at the same time and for a, lot of, for a lot of real new beginners in their first sort of maybe two days or so of playing, um, that would be uh, quite difficult to do. So I'm going to teach you how to play the, um, this version that we've got here. Uh, it sounds just as good I think, so uh, we'll give it a go. Now uh, first of all we need to identify uh, the strings on the guitar. So you may have noticed you've got six strings on your guitar. And I use this um, little rhyme uh, to remember the strings. I've taught a lot of children, so this is kind of where this rhyme comes from. Um, but you can still use it if you're an adult. It, it's a lot of fun. Now, so it's Eddie, eight, dynamite, good, by Eddie. Okay, so that's a silly thing, but it works. So Eddie, eight, dynamite, good, by Eddie. So how that works is Eddie, E, 8, A, dynamite, D, good, G, by, B, Eddie, E. Okay, so that tells you the actual notes of the strings, so you're learning a little bit of theory there as well. Next, um, so you've got your six strings, and we're now going to be working on what's known as the frets. So, the frets are these little bits of metal that you see here on the neck of the guitar. Okay, so what we're doing is we, we count up the frets when we're playing, so um, they're there as markers to tell us what notes to play or, or what chords to play. So let me show you, um, this would be fret number one, hopefully you can see that there, this would be fret number two, fret number three, so on and so forth as you count up. Now to get started on the song, um, what we're doing is we're starting with our um, middle finger, okay, so this finger here, we're starting with that on the second fret, okay, on the Eddie 8 Dynamite Good string, okay, so that's the fourth string down from the top string, um, so we're on the good string there, okay, so hopefully you've got that, alright. Now when I say um, we're on the second fret, what you mustn't do is press down the actual bit of metal, um, so you're always holding down in the middle of the second fret, so between fret 1 marker and fret 2 marker, you hold down in the middle, not on the bit of metal itself, okay? So hopefully you've got that. Great, so that's your first note, um, and it sounds like this. So you can pick that with your thumb, or if you're using a plectrum, you can use a plectrum. So that's your first note, okay? And the next note afterwards, quite easy, is the open Eddie string. Now let me explain what open means. You'll probably hear guitarists talk about that and other teachers. So the open string means that we're not holding down anything on this hand, okay? So we're just leaving it completely open and letting the string, that Eddie string, ring, okay? So we've hopefully got this. I'd like to try this now along with me. that sounds like the song. I'm playing it a little bit slower but that sounds like the song. Now if you're getting this sound and we're getting muting, okay, I'm going to teach you how to um, how to deal with that. Okay, so in the beginning you'll be surprised as a beginner, um, I mean I remember when I was, about pressing down into the string. You really do need to press down quite hard, okay. So the first reason why you might be getting that sound or a buzzing is because you're not pressing down hard enough into the fretboard, okay? So press nice and hard and bring your thumb, I don't know if you can see this, I can't see what you're seeing, but bring your thumb behind, okay? Um, to help pinch, okay? And then the other thing is you need to bridge over the string, okay? So bridge over. So don't be like this, be like this, okay? So with those two things in place, pressing down harder and bridging over, you should get a nice sound eventually, just a little bit of persistence. Okay, so that's dealing with the music. Let's get back to the rest of the song, okay? So 
that's the part at the beginning, okay? We're then changing to our index finger onto the first fret on the G string, so on the same string. So we're going from the second to the first. Okay, so that sounds like this. Okay, so hopefully you've got that. So the second fret. And then we're changing to the first fret. Okay. Good. And finally, the last part. Okay, this is what makes it really good if you're a beginner because you get a break on your hands. Um, and I'm sure you'll probably want that by this point. Um, you're then moving down to the D string, so Eddie A Dynamite, okay? And you're playing that string open, so you know what that means now. So like this, and then still playing that open E string. Okay, so you're playing the open E string every time. And then back to where we were, okay? Good, so hopefully you've got the three uh, changes that you're doing with that hand. Now we're going to talk about how many times we need to play everything, okay? So it just means a tiny little bit of music theory, promise it won't hurt, okay? So to count the rhythm theory, um, we're going one and two and three and four and, okay? So the open E string is on the and, and the one we're holding down is on the number. So let me just show that to you again. One and two and three and four. And it starts again. One and two and three and four and so on and so forth. Okay, so when we get to the four and and we start again on one, that's called, that's the end of the first bar on the four and, okay? So let me just help you with that. So it's one and two and three and four and one bar and two and three and four, two bars. So one and two and three and three bars. One and two and three and now that first part, where we're holding down the G string on the second fret, that first part we're playing for four bars, so as long as I've played it there. When we make the change to the first fret on your index finger, remember, we're playing that for two bars, four and, okay? So that's, I'll do that just quickly again, one and two and three and four and one bar, one and two and three and four and two bars, okay? And then the same measure, the same, the same two bars for the open D string, okay? So the open dynamite string. So two measures, then back to where we started. Okay, so hopefully your fingers aren't hurting too much, okay? Pressing down, um, and we're gonna just play through the song very slowly, and I'm gonna sing it for you as well, just so you've got a little guide. Feel free to hum it as well, because it sounds really good if you kind of sort of sing along. I mean, maybe you're not, um, you're not a singer as such, but it's, it can really sound quite nice just to thread it along uh, so the music and the melody uh, sit side by side. So let's just give that a go. So it's one and two and three and four and one and two. We'll do it all change. Everything change.